Hey everybody and welcome back to the 1902 farmhouse renovation project. I want to bring y'all up to speed on what's uh, been accomplished so far. So this area right here is completely gutted now and as you can see maybe the light's not too bright. There's a lot of structure that's going to have to be redone here. This window actually be a lot smaller anyway. Above the door there's no header so that'll have to be reframed probably end up putting a whole new door in. The bathroom is completely gutted now and I also went ahead and cleared all the lumber off of this side so that we can move this door frame down. I did find an old door frame opening, uh, what it appears to be. It's not much of a header and as you can see, this jack stud, yeah, yeah I don't know if I'd even call it a jack stud. Uh, the king studs in place but that's about it on this side you have a king and a jack so this stud that goes all the way to the top plate and to the bottom plate that's called the king stud and the jack stud is a stud that goes from the bottom plate to the bottom of the header which is that one so that is correct i wouldn't really call a two by four a header though that's not really a load bearing structure right there so all that'll be reframed put new studs in we're going to move this door opening down into this next bay right here so electrical is going to have to be gone i think you've already seen these rooms in the master bedroom and in the second bedroom we finally got everything out of the closet I've got to come in here and cut out part of this wall to make a hallway and also I want to uh, put my gun safe. I'm going to build me a cubby hole in this closet for my gun safe so all this has got to come out. So, been working in the living room. We've got this wall completely uh, gutted now. And as you can see, there's a header right there. So I think that used to either be a door or a window. And then we have another header here. And the window. Somebody tried to put a header in here. But as you can see, there's no jack stud under this header. So this header is non-load bearing. There is a, a jack stud here. It comes down. And it ends right here <laughs> so there's no way these load that's load bearing so what we'll have to do is put in a whole new header here and put a new some new jack studs in but happy to say that uh the sheath and the siding that's out there looks pretty good i haven't found any uh indication of severe damage rot or anything like that so I'm, I'm real pleased about that. Got some junk under here, but I'm not sure where all that come from. Well, we'll run, have, to, have to run some more electrical outlets down this wall here. And this is the last one to do here. We've got the, the paneling off. And we found this door. And this ain't really a find. I knew it was here. I remember it from my childhood. You could see it from the outside back when they was, uh, before they put vinyl siding on. But... They got this door that was hidden behind the paneling and uh, they actually ran a receptacle outlet right there. And another one over there, but I bet, I bet that was fun to try to get through that door. So plans here is to take this whole door frame out and just stud it up. And uh, on the outside, I think there should be ply, plywood up under the vinyl side. And of course that'll come off when we get ready to do the siding, but uh, yeah, so this, this house had two front doors at one time and I would imagine from what, from what I can tell was this room at one time was just one big room that went all the way to the back and it had windows all down the side for the classrooms. The reason I say that, I can tell that header there is the same header as the one right here it goes all the way through the closet over to here and you can tell that that at one time was a window right there there was a door right there and then another window right there and then there was 
I don't think there was ever a window in the back. I think they added that later. I cannot tell that there was ever a, a frame for a window. Because everywhere there's been an opening, they've, they've had this type of header with the two by fours and two two by fours throughout the house so far what we've found so even over this back door opening right here they had that there was not, not really I don't know I wouldn't call that a header either so I, I know there was a window there at one time but I don't think originally there was a window there I think there was two or there was either one big window here like what was in the living room because you got this header that goes all the way across to here I think it had that big a big opening might have had two big windows in it and then we also had a small window here with nothing right here originally so that is the update and uh, we'll still like the kitchen the kitchen as I probably said in the past will be uh, last uh, this kitchen has got plywood on the floor the plywood is over some old tile I'm not sure what kind of tile but I would expect it's asbestos so I'm not looking forward to uh, taking up this floor but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to remove that plywood and uh, we'll get the, we'll get the rest of this down next week We'll probably be ready to get a new roll off because that roll off is pretty full out there. And then after we get this wall down, we'll probably come in here and go ahead and get this wall completely took down. That way, when we get ready to put windows in, we can go ahead and, and side the whole front of the house. On the kitchen side, We've got these two windows here. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. Um, that's going to have to that's going to have to be something done about it. But uh, until I get some storage room, there's no place to put these cabinets. I'd like to have them in my shop. To start cleaning out this building right here after we get these two front walls done. And my cousin's supposed to get my granddad's old truck, but uh, it ain't running since 2007 so 12 years uh, I'm probably just end up having to pull it out and then I'm going to clean out inside there I'm going to try to get some concrete poured and we'll close that building in I'm going to put a uh, new siding on it and uh, it's got a fairly recent roof I think the roof was done uh, probably 15 maybe 15 years ago the storm blew the roof off so that is where I'm going to start putting my uh, cabinets and other stuff that I need to get out of the house. So that's going to be a major undertaking. As you can see the dumpster is pretty full. I don't know, maybe you can see. But uh, we'll get a new one in here next week. Alright, until then, appreciate you watching. And please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't.